have a new book of poetry coming out. It's called The Haunting Poetress. But let's go back to uh, my first book of poetry, which is The Shutters of My Soul. And I'll read you a few of my original poems. This one's called Sunflowers. Watch the rain as it pours down, the sunflowers that stand in a row, bowing their heads, staring at the ground. Ashamed, they are too weak to carry the load. Some, their stalks broken, shall never rise again to follow the sun. To follow the sun as it rises and sets. They mourn the loss of their glory, the rain, their tears. How obvious that would be, but they truly looked as if crying with their heads hung down. Where they were once proud and strong, they stand pitifully, mourning their loss of glory. Such cold, hard rain pouring down on them, drowning the fallen, testing the brave. They once looked like an army, standing, ready for battle or a parade. Their colors, yellow and green, with golden radiance. They seemed to converse in the slightest breeze. This one's called Look Up at the Stars. Look up at the stars and remember a time when I was all yours and you were all mine. Being with you was an enchanted dream like sparkling mist from a moonlit stream, to be held in arms as if angels' wings, so warm yet deceiving of what tomorrow would bring. The sadness of my heart, a heart I could no longer feel as I stood in the cold, emotions surreal, how you sent me away one fateful night when the moon was dim but the stars shone bright. I often wondered what you could not explain, how such beauty could hide such pain. The sadness of my heart as I stood in the cold, not knowing where to go, not understanding what you told. Look up at the stars and remember the time when I was all yours and you were all mine. One Lone Leaf. Standing on the outside in the youth of year, I look up at the trees that rise so near. The branches are bare and drip the cold rains, but one lone leaf holds and still it remains. How does it feel to be the last one when you survive the cold, you'll worship the sun. Autumn to winter, winter to spring, if tomorrow be born, anew it will bring. Standing on the outside in the youth of year, I look up at a tree that rises so near. One lone leaf still waves in the wind, lonely but strong, clinging tight to the end. I think of the future and try to foresee that if we're not careful, which one of us will it be? The loner is strong to stand the loneliness, but how long it will last is anyone's guess. I was taking a trip down south. I decided to take a ride one day in my I had a 77 Buick Electra, and it needed some work done to it. I had, I had done a few things on it myself, but um, I really wanted to go down south. So I started off early in the morning, and I ended up breaking down three times along the way. So I was stuck down North Carolina for a little while, and while I was there, I pretty much, um, well, I wrote this poem to describe what it was like down there at that time. And it's called Donuts for Dinner. Donuts for dinner in a dead-end town, living by a graveyard, death all around. Rising like a phoenix 
from ashes alone, learning to live from knowledge unknown. Renting the last trailer down the dirt road by a swamp playing guitar, the pawn shop sold. Hoping to start, only there's nowhere to begin. Stuck in the trailer, a coffin of tin. With no shade or trees, it's as hot as hell. Get a ride to town with the vision bell. Playing pool, doing laundry in a bar. Some guys are watching don't know who they are. I ignore them. My laundry is done. Dropping the eight, again, I won. Take a ride to another part of town. The AC's broke and the window won't go down. Walk around the mall, can't buy a thing. Ask about work, but nobody's hiring. Time to return to the place I call home would call you up, but I don't have a phone. A storm's rolling in and the rain's pouring down. Donuts for dinner in a dead-end town. Thunder and lightning in darkness of night, watching the storm by lone candlelight. Pink or right, white frosted, tomorrow starts again. Donuts for dinner in a town that's dead-end.